Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be setting up Hiva West on Rig 22. Giving you a general idea of how that goes. If you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking for someone to set up a GPU or ASIC mining farm. A GPU farm such as this one here. Or, or if you're looking to buy yourself some 3080s, 3070s, maybe some S19s, S17 Pluses, maybe some S19XXD or XE. If you're interested in any of those things, go to CryptoLLC.org. Alright, so, setting up Hive OS on this rig here, number 22. Um, everything's good to go. Got my SSD plugged in there. Um, we're using an SSD copier to speed up the process. So I created a uh, pre, kind of like pre-setup of a Hive OS, uh, putting all the settings that I want. And the only thing left to do on, on these SSDs is to copy them, which could have completed the copies, a couple of copies here, a couple of copies over here. They're ready to go. And I uh, just gotta log in, turn it on, log in, and then change a couple of settings, plug in my farm ID, or actually the worker ID, and then plug in the password for the worker. All right, so let's turn this guy on. Here's that SSD, just copied him over. This is the old SSD. I'm gonna have to re-flash uh, that one. Press the power button. All right, and off it goes. I got my Bluetooth keyboard, so we can see everything is green. On the motherboard, all the ports are green. Keyboard is set, mouse is set, everything is good. So first thing that happens is gonna show you some things here. Focus on that. Should be loading high OS. Just gotta give it like a minute. And after that, should be good to go. All right, almost done. Now, this is our previous Hive OS, you know, settings, all that stuff from a different rig. So it's gonna actually try to mine because the settings are already all saved in there. So it's gonna try to connect to our Hive OS account and start mining right away on that rig. So we need to first stop mining. So right now it's almost done, it's about to boot up and it's gonna automatically try to start the mining process. We gotta stop that first. I mean, if you're, SSD is brand new, you don't need to do that. Oh, and by the way, uh, the way I'm setting this one up is in your when you set it up, when you add a worker to your Hive OS, uh, you have to go to the existing worker. So I created a worker you know, on your app, on your phone, or on a PC or whatever. And then you gotta set it up with existing worker. Anyway, so you can see it's starting to mine right here, trying to mine. So let's go stop that process. So to stop the process, you type in minor, minor stop. Now it's gonna you focus on that, there you go. Now it's gonna stop the process here, so you gotta wait for it to stop first. All right, so now we type in first run dash F, which is first run space dash F. And that's gonna force, force it to reset some of our settings there. Gonna connect to a couple of different URLs. Looks like it's getting information, downloading some things. so on. Now I'm recording on my phone so like I said I can't really show my phone or really show anything basically. I'm recording on this device so I can't do that. But what you do is you press enter here and then you type in your rig ID. So this is your worker ID so create a worker in one of your farms. Uh, go to that worker, go to settings, you'll see the worker ID. Man, why is it blurry? Okay. You'll, you'll see worker ID and then you'll type that in there. So usually it's like five, four, you know, eight watt, you know, whatever it is. Something, some numbers like that, some gibberish numbers like that. 
I think it's six numbers or eight numbers. You press enter. And then after that, it'll ask you for your password. So you scroll down in the app if you're on your phone, you'll see the worker password. It's a, a cryptographic password, meaning that it's not gonna be like logical. It's gonna be like X, uppercase P, you know, lowercase a, uh, a, S or whatever it is, you know, 328, stuff like that. So you type that in there. Then if everything is correct, you match everything up, it'll connect to it. It'll show you like a green, green message and it'll say, uh, you know, you're good to go for mining. So that's how you set that up. Then once that's done, that's when you can actually go to your computer or your app and change the settings on that worker. So you want to add like overclocks and core power limits and things like that. That's when you want to do all that stuff. And then add your um, flight sheet and so on. And then that'll actually start mining. So it's pretty fast. But that's basically how you do it. Now this is how you do it if you are you know, uh, um, copying a, a rig that already existed. Basically, you're, you don't want to reinstall HiveOS and flash an image onto an SSD every single time. You want to use an SSD copier if you got to do it like 100 times. So make sure you guys, if you're doing something like this, make sure you hit, get yourself one of these guys here. It's really fast, copies it in like three minutes. These are kind of slow, so don't get those. Get this one right here, it's really fast. It does a good job and copies everything over. All right, so make sure you guys subscribe. I hope you guys like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Check out our other social media accounts like Gap, Parlor Minds, Bitch Rumble. Subscribe to all those accounts because who knows what might happen, what might happen if YouTube or Rumble or who knows. So make sure you guys subscribe to all those social media platforms. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and so on. And of course, if you're looking for someone to set up a GPU mining farm such as this one or an ASIC mining farm, Go to CryptoLLC.org, send us an email, we'll get in touch. And if you want to buy yourself some GPUs or ASICs, go to CryptoLLC.org. We have a marketplace there. Check out what we have for sale. Now, we're getting a lot of sales, actually, recently. So, a lot of people want to get some 3090s, some 3080s. So, we're doing some sales there. So, if you guys are interested, go to CryptoLLC.org. And that's going to be it for this video. Until next time, bye.